of Ben Carson. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, it's topical. I'm Dr. Alfred here to prescribe and administer possible cures for current ailments that are plaguing WWE. Let's get to our first case. It appears as if WWE Raw has tested positive for terrible ratings. Oh man, these numbers are off the charts and not in a good way. Last week, Raw viewership sunk below 3 million for the first time since 1997. That is not good, but the good news is it is curable. It's not a terminal illness. WWE just needs to stay the course. It's all they need to do. Continue to push your young talent. This was a never WWE has been too reliant for too long on aging part-time stars and these problems have been bubbling beneath the surface. Now that they're moving forward and going all in with their transitional roster, they're going to deal with these problems in the ratings and the best way to confront them? Do it head on. Continue to get people used to seeing the Roman Reigns and the Wyatt family in the main event and the problem will cure itself. Whatever you do, don't listen to those quacks out in the internet wrestling community. Everybody they recommend ends up getting hurt because they're from the indies and they wrestle that physical style so that by the time they make it to the main roster, their bodies don't hold up. Oh, you should push Cesaro and he got hurt. You should push Daniel Bryan, they did and he got hurt. You should push Seth Rollins, they did and he got hurt. Who's next, Kevin Owens and his history of knee problems? How do you think that's gonna work out? Trust me on these things, I'm a doctor. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and prescribe heavy doses of television time for young talent and maybe a couple of format changes spice things up on rock okay great I think we have time for one more let's get to our next case it looks like the beast Brock Lesnar has uh, pulled a hamstring uh, no uh, I'm not a veterinarian <laughs>